All right, so I got started with this video. I mean, with this painting a little earlier before I started with the video. But uh, let's let's do this. Let's let's keep on moving with this. These are just uh, some boats that are on the shore, and they uh, they're on. Uh, They're just kind of waiting there on some wooden frames. Very beautiful. Look at that. Sometimes I really just enjoy using the palette knife. Something very uh, satisfying about using the palette knife. Super simple. Look at that. I'm going to mix a little gray, a little purple gray. And get those boats in there. Really nice. I want to thank everybody who's been uh, following me and, and watching my videos. It means a lot. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure to be able to share my, my passion.
gonna try to make that a little bit more a little bit darker and um, I think that'll work really nice. You guys let me know what you think. Let's see. I think I got a comment here. It says, uh, oh, hey, thank you. Uh, you're, a graceful, you're a graceful painter. Blending colors when appropriate, texture, font, thanks. Be safe, be well. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. One of the things that I um, I've been working on for a little while, um, which is uh, teaching other artists how to how to calm yourself when you're painting, uh, and and I and I say this with all respect. I, I think that um, one of the, one of the things that gets in the way is ourselves <laughs> we, we we tend to do things that slightly too fast and and i don't i don't blame anyone for trying to do that when you're painting um, we, we want to get to the we want to get to the to the image right away and so that can hurt us if we're not if we don't slow down a little bit How's it going, Kirk? Hi, Alina. Hi, Mary. Thank you. Thank you so much. And so that's something that I look into uh, whenever I, when I possibly can, is slow down a little bit. But don't, don't slow down just for the sake of slowing down. Uh, really look at what you're doing. Not, not from a, a realist. Uh, from a realism, I guess, uh, point of view, but a little bit more zen. Look, look at it and and see what. Pay attention to every little thing. It doesn't matter if you're doing little squiggles or or uh, little dabs of color like this. Just try to pay attention to as much as possible. It's the best thing to do. There's no... There's no hurry for it. No one's chasing us. We don't need to finish it quick. But, but, but fast is part of the process though. The more you paint, you start getting a little faster. Then you have to slow yourself down a little bit more. And that's just a little dance that you do. finally uh, rained here in Tucson, at least where I am at, in uh, downtown Tucson. We finally got some rain, so I'm very grateful for that. I really needed some rain. Uh, my studio is in a warehouse, is in a warehouse district, and, uh, and so warehouses are infamous for being very hot. There's a lot of metal around them. It's just, it is what it is. 
uh, I signed up for it. <laughs> I signed up. I signed up to it, so I guess I can't complain. But I really needed some rain. I think we all did. How's it going? How's it going, Patty Van Anderson? What's up, my friends? Hope everybody's doing good. I love everything you can do with um, just having fun with a brush or a palette knife. The amount of things that can be done. Thank you so much, Van. Uh, Shaw Thoman says, uh, I love your paintings. I have purchased six so far. I'm in the process of framing them so I can put them up. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to make a video very soon about be best, uh, my best... Uh, framing options and, and best practices for for framing original art in case anybody out there wants to see it um, I'm gonna be including uh, matting uh, framing glazing all that stuff the different types of frames and it's gonna be geared more towards the type of uh, color palette that I use and the, the, the paintings that I create and so I think it'll be a nice, a really nice instructional little video. I've been asked many, many times uh, for some help with framing from, from people that buy my work. Uh, most people know what to do, or most people send them out to a professional, uh, but some people don't. Some people, some people want to frame them themselves, and, and I think that's a wonderful idea, not only because you can save on the framing, but also because... Um, it's, it's a nice little project. It's just something nice to do. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Look at that. Let me wave to my friends here. I'm gonna start waving. There we go. Let's get a, a another brush and and paint that sky. Let's do something to that sky. Look at that. B E A beautiful. Let's put some grays in there. Because why not? It's by the it's by the sea. So maybe some grays. Oh. 
Maybe. Maybe we can put a in a distance, just a couple of seagulls maybe. Maybe right here. More than a couple. Susan says, I love all your paintings and products on Fine Art America. The mugs are, are also beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, those, those mugs, I, I, really, uh, I really love the way they came out. Uh, you know, you just upload the image and then they, they, they print them on all sorts of things. And so I found some really cool stuff. I found face masks, beach towels, and all kinds of things. And, and the mugs, the mugs are also my wife's favorite. Uh, Joanne Hart says, your paintings are profoundly beautiful. Thank you. I really, really appreciate that. How's it going, Murray? Murray says, uh, oh, cool. Love your nautical works. The USN messes with us uh, even after discharge papers are issued. Oh. <laughs> But you, you know what? Uh, the what inspired me to to paint this piece was because I was watching the 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 landing of the the I don't know what it's called. I, I'm not I'm not a I'm not a maybe maybe you guys can think of the name. I'm not educated on that, but uh, from the space from the space program that. Uh, Drop this, this 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 thing with the two the two astronauts in the water. I thought it was the most. I thought it was the coolest thing I've ever seen, actually. The way they came out of there, like almost like a, I remember seeing this movie by ja, who, who is it? Uh, Sandra Bullock, where she she was in outer space and she had to come come back down and 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 it was this whole deal just to. Just to come back. Another good one is the Martian with uh, I got not remember his name. This, this actor. But I just think it's so cool. This uh, scientist, you know, working on all this stuff to get people up there, and a lot of the people that go up there, I think, I think all of them, no, are scientists. If I'm not mistaken, uh, and then coming back down, yeah, SpaceX. Yeah, I think it was the coolest thing ever. And so I was watching that, and I was like, man, what's the closest thing we have in land or in, on Earth? Um, to that type of deal and I just started thinking about boats because I would imagine where people got on a boat I don't know hundreds of years ago maybe even I don't know how old boats really are thousands of years who knows um, they probably felt like they were going out of space the travels probably felt very intense So when I think of spaceships, I think of boats. <laughs> I think it's the closest thing. So there it is, my friends. Again, my name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. Let me let me zoom into that so you guys can see it. These are a couple of boats on shore. And uh, I'm very happy to be able to share this. Again, for those of you who don't know, I'm now offering painting classes or workshops. They, you can take them individually, uh, a la carte, I guess. <laughs> or, or you can sign up to my monthly subscription and just pay 20 bucks a month. And you get access to all of my painting workshops and marketing workshops as well uh, in there. So if you want to find out more about it, let me know. 
and uh, yeah, I'll send you a link to that. It's really cool. I'm going to be sharing all kinds of painting knowledge. Look at that. Isn't it cool? Once you when when you get to see uh, all the raw rough strokes in there, I think it's pretty cool. I love that. Then we give it some space, and the image kind of puts itself together. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much, Carmen. I appreciate that. Stay well, and I will talk to you guys soon again. Bye. -bye.